Monday morning. If I wasn't awake, I am now. Oh, good, because that's because you have to be awake to do this. Uh, although I, get, I think there are probably YouTube channels where you could sleep and people would watch you. You can eat. Snore to, rhythms. You can eat to silence. So I imagine you could, you could probably get people to watch you sleep. It's weird. Y'all are weird on YouTube. <laughs> Just strange. Yes. Y'all are strange animals. Strange animals. Good morning. Trust that everyone is well. They had a good weekend. Um, and I, 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 I trust that you're looking forward to a, a fabulous week. And um, you're looking forward to having a great time. Uh, you are, you are an, an, inf an influencer. Um, you're going to influence people for the positive. Uh, I am excited. Um, that we get to another Monday. Monday's Monday's okay. You know, Monday's okay for me. You know, Monday. A lot of people are like, oh, I hate Monday. Why? Monday's a chance to, you know, what to, to start do something over again. To do something new, do something different. Um, so and Monday's be thankful, good time. And be thankful you have a job to get up and go to. Yeah. There are people that don't it's, and are praying for one. It's a chance to. It's chance. It's, a, it's an opportunity to be grateful. Um, and um, being grateful is really, really important. Yes. Um, that you are thankful for what you have, which is the only way that, that, that you're going to ever get more, that you are thankful for what you have now. No matter what it is, no matter if you're living in a, you know what, in a 14 room mansion or an 18 foot wide mobile home, a 14 foot wide mobile, mobile home. You know what, you're living indoors and there are people who are not living indoors. Not in a cardboard box. Or living, or living in their car. Yes. So, be grateful. Be thankful. All right. Um, this morning's topic is a topic that um, I think it comes to a lot of people because of of what we need is you know what we need is stimulation, um, and we and we believe that we need a lot of stimulation. Um, Some people need more stimulation than others and if you are married you need to kind of be on the same level with that and as your marriage grows older you can sometimes get uneven and um, I wanted to to bring up this topic because we I, I don't want to divulge things about people but we had we experienced something that hurt us this weekend um, we found you know some friends of ours we found out that they were having some trouble and um, they've been been together for over 20 years and um, okay <laughs> hi Janetta and Sharon and um it it really um, I I could see it in my husband's face. It bothers me. Yeah, yes. I mean, I, I, I'm not even that. sure why it affects me the way it affects me, um, but it really bothers me. It really bothered me. Mm -hmm. I, I could tell that it did. It really did. And and some of the factors that break break people up, you know, after so many years, it, is being having boredom in your marriage. Um, not having it the same interests anymore, you know, one may be a homebody and the other wants to still go out and, you know, have some fun. Maybe when you got together you were you were the same, you know, you like to go out and do things together and different things and then one of you kind of pulls back. Um and and what causes that sometimes is one may be a little older than the other, you know, and the if you some of you, you gentlemen marry a young chick, you got to stay up with her. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, not, with, not with us. But I think that, you know, but, I, I think that you make a good point because a lot of times people are, and, 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 and we're not saying for any, you know, by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but we see that people who marry just outside of their age range, mm -hmm. they sort of, they're fine as long as they can be in sync. And then when the older person moves to another stage in life, because there are stages in life, mm -hmm. and you move to another stage in life, and the younger person hasn't gotten there yet, there is a period sometimes of discontent, or that's when... Restless. Pe people say they're bored. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. Um, being an only child, I don't, I don't really get bored. <laughs> Find ways to entertain yourself. Always did. Always did. And my first point on that I'd like to share is that, you know, create happiness in yourself. While you do that, I'm going to move this camera for our YouTube family. Okay. It's, a, it's a little sideways. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, you, okay. It's important to, to be able to be, be happy within yourself and not depend on your, your, your partner to uh, bring happiness to you all the time. I mean, you, you two got to be happy together because you're living in the same household, sharing the life together. But there are times when you need to find your own hobbies, your own things that, that brings you joy so that you can bring something back to the relationship. Um, if you're having any type of self-esteem issues or, or not knowing where, you know, where, where your next step is, as Willie was saying, if you're older than the other person, then you may be having some struggles with finding where's your purpose in life, you know, after you've retired and you, you know, you, you're moving to a different stage in life and you, you got to do some soul searching. And the other person may not be ready for that stage because mm -hmm. for, for some people, that's a big deal. You've been very, very active. You've been, you've been working for a company. You, you may have had a, an important position where you traveled a lot, you did a lot, and then suddenly everything comes to a screeching halt. And now you're wondering, and, and now it takes, sometimes for a lot of people, it takes a, a little bit of time to go, whoa, whoa, what's next for me now? Mm -hmm. What's next at, at this stage in my life? And if you've got someone who's not there yet, who really can't understand that? Who really can't identify with that? None of the people in her, you know, what in her or his life have, are there yet. Then you've got con then you've got conflict and disconnect, and um, and unless you can communicate about it, then and we're gonna, I'm sure we're going to get into that in a little bit. Unless you can communicate about it, um, either before it happens or as it's happening, um, then then that's when people say, "I'm bored." Now I'll tell you what. The boredom word comes comes to me is when cause I taught for y'all know I keep talk, telling y'all I uh, taught for fifteen point one years um, that when and, and I teach saxophone flute and clarinet whenever something gets hard people have the tendency to go um, it's bored mm -hmm. I don't want to do this same because they because they go up like this and things are great and then they level and then you get to a plateau. And that's when they say they're bored. That's when getting to the next level takes actual work. You, you know, when you mm -hmm. move from the, like Pastor says, the, it, the, you know, the, 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 the ishy, squishy, romantic, holding hands, ishy, gooey kind of mm -hmm. thing that takes you to, to, to one level, which you need to have, and then to, to move to the more mature level takes a little bit more work. And if you're yeah, not interested, if you're not interested in that work, then people go, I'm bored. You're not making me happy anymore. Well, it wasn't ever my like Debbie said. It wasn't my job to make you happy to start with. It's not your spouse's job. Uh, you know what? To, to to make you happy and make you feel fulfilled. You didn't get a. You didn't marry an entertainer. You know. Well. <laughs> I did. That wasn't my primary. That wasn't my primary no, position. No, it's not. It was a fringe. It was a fringe benefit. Yeah. Maybe it's a benefit. It's a bonus. <laughs> Maybe it's a perk. <laughs> But it's not your spouse's job to keep you, you know, keep you fulfilled all the time. I mean, there are times when you all are going to be together and it's, you know, he, he or she is, is on their game and they're doing what they want, you know, supposed to do, making you happy and everything like that. But then when you get to that time when you, you feel like something's missing, maybe the something that's missing is within you and not them. Search yourself first. And then, you know, go to, to work on the marriage part of it, your relationship. Yeah, I mean, people are, are, are so quick to, to point to the other person uh, or point to the other thing. Or, I mean, and that happens in almost every relationship. That, that, that happens in your, in your marriage relationship. That happens in your friend relationship. That happens in your work relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, you, people are very quick to, to point to the other thing. That you're not making them happy. It's it, not fulfilling me. I don't feel like I'm, I, I don't feel like you're 
and, and then it's dot, dot, dot. Mm -hmm. As opposed to, I wonder how I'm looking at this now. I'm wondering why I'm not getting what I did before. What in me has changed? How, mm -hmm. What am I looking at differently than, than, than before? And how can I change that? Uh, as opposed and, to an and actually, that's my next point: is change your perspective. Did you, did you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> he said he hasn't seen the points. I have that. not. <laughs> I'm so good at this. And change your perspective. If you're feeling you're in a rut or something within the relationship, um, do some things to change it up. You know, do you, the, look at it as a uh, a blessing and not as like he was saying as a negative thing you know that you you're a blessed to have a partner for life you know um, don't look for them to to fulfill everything just because they're your partner but but look to see what how, how can you be a blessing to them it's what I and and, and, and and for our YouTube family you guys have been on quite you know it's what Willie always says you know what it's it's not really who makes you happy it's who you want to make happy and that's the deal and I think that sometimes we forget that we were looking for other people to to, 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 to give happy. to make us happy to make us comfortable make us blah 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 and we're and we're not doing that so it's, it's interesting sowing and reaping is not just a concept it's a law it actually works and it actually works everywhere and in anything if you're not, not giving that money no it if you're not giving that money. if you're not giving that you're not going to get any of that back exactly you're just not going to get any of it back um, so if you know what, if, if you feel like you don't have friends, it's because you're not friendly. <laughs> if you want friends, you got to be friendly. Mm -hmm. um, if you want, you know what, if if you want benefits at work, then you've got to give something at work too. Not just not just the bare minimum. You just can't go in there and at nine o'clock go click and, and and be standing there at the clock or the computer at four four fifty nine fifty nine seconds and then expect to get anything extra. Because, you know what, they, they pay you for that time already. They've given you that. So if you want something extra, you're going to give have to give something. Yeah. If, you, if, there need, if there's a need to, to, to help out in another department, or if, you, if uh, your coworker needs some help and they ask for help or whatever, give that extra. Don't just do your part. Give some extra. Because you'll get more than that back fulfilling you within your job so it works not only in money and in your marriage but in your friendships in your work in your community give back to your community or give to your community yeah I mean people say give back okay so you may say well I ain't grow up here <laughs> okay or this community didn't do anything for me but that's that's not even the that's point. Not the point the point is that if you see a need that you can fulfill that's outside of your normal realm Fill it, fill it, and that works. and And this concept works everywhere. And I think, I think you, I think in in relationships, we expect so much that what we don't think about is that what are we offering other than other than frankly the hey, Sheila, uh, the basics. Are we doing? Are we are we going the extra mile when we expect other people to do the very same thing? Am I going the extra mile? Am I, you know what, even if I'm in a situation where I may not be able to do all I want to do, am I doing anything? So, I'm sorry. So, don't complain if you're not getting what you want, if you're not giving. Yep. Um, next is that do things that are completely out of the ordinary together. Shake it up. Um, and you Shake know, it up. Because we talk about, you know, date nights and all like this stuff. Like this, for us. This is different. We started this in February, and this was completely out of the ordinary. Yes. It's something we've never done. Now, he has done this type thing for years. But for me, um, the timid, shy Debbie. Wait a minute. I thought I was the timid, shy one. I'm the timid, shy one. Wait a minute. I'm not. That's not, That's Actually, that's not true at all. I am. I'm the shy one. <laughs> and nobody believes nobody that. Nobody believes but that. But it's the truth. It is so the truth. I am. I am. I am the quiet one. I'm the one that sit, that, that will sit and stand quietly. <laughs> Do you even believe? That? Yes, that's <laughs> true. That's true. I'm the quiet one. I'm like, yeah. But anyway, 
shake it up a little bit. Shake you know, we we talk about dating and you know having date night, but everybody does that. Everybody does date night. You go to dinner. You go to a movie. You go to a movie where you sit in the dark for two and a half hours and, and don't talk. <laughs> But you need, to, you need to change it up, like, because that's one thing that we have been wanting to do is go down on the river walk and, um, and, and go for a walk and do stuff like that differently. And we had started doing walks every Saturday. I don't know what happened with that. I don't know. We got into needing to do other stuff, so we need to get that back in. Life showed up. Yes, it did. But um, one thing we did do that out of the ordinary for a date night was we went to that painting. Doing, you can go to. Y'all uh, remember the painting? You two guys, y'all remember the painting video, right? Yes. That was cool. If you if you a have of, not seen a lot um, of husbands and guys bailed out because because they're chickens. That's why. <laughs> but it was it was a fun night. It was, it was a some amount of a work activity for me, but then it turned into a date for us. That's fun. It, you know, and you can see us do that on our YouTube channel. We taped everything and what what took place, and we have little paintings here that we did. We do, we do. But that's another alternative to um, just dinner and a movie. That that can be a rut because it's Friday. We're gonna go to the movies and we're gonna go mm -hmm. to um, somewhere and have the di have dinner and have the very same dinner we always have. Uh, when you know, like Debbie says, shake it up, shake it up. Do do something that you that neither of you have done before, something that's that, that's out of that, that's out of the ordinary that neither of you have done before. Get tickets to a concert together. Go to go the, to the comedy club. The comedy club. We did that a couple of times. That was that that's was fun. fun. Mm -hmm. Go to the comedy club. Get tickets. We have a, a, a improv down here in Ebor that's excellent. I mean they. You could have a nice little date there. Do something different. Volunteer. Yes. Volunteer together. Um, yeah, because that's a situation where you're both where you're both actually serving uh, serving other people, where you're not the center of attention, uh, and you're serving other people together, and that can be really rewarding. Uh, and you have to work together. That's the the fun part with us is <laughs> working together and me trying to give orders and. I mean, ignoring them. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And he doing his own thing, but you find out a lot about your partner when you when you go out and volunteer. You volunteer at, at uh, Metropolitan Ministries. You can do uh, Trinity, like we did, and um, other things in the community that we have volunteered for. That brings on a different perspective. And it brings on a um, uh, idea of how blessed you are, because we we really realize how blessed we are when we we serve others. You think you're struggling and different things are going on, but your life is precious compared to what other people are going through. Yeah, we shared we shared this before that um, a couple that we. Um they weren't. They weren't at our table. They were in a, in, a, in an adjacent table, and they were just the nicest people. They were just so pleasant, um, and they came. To, they came to Trinity to eat, and uh, they were served, and they were just delightful. And then when we were leaving at the end of our our thing, it was obvious that they were living in their car, mm -hmm. and they had stopped by to get lunch. And maybe the only meal that they were going to have for today, and they were living in their car, and they weren't, and they weren't the stereotypical anybody. They were the nicest. They were, they, they were mannered, and they weren't. They didn't seem dirty or filthy. They were just people whose crap had happened to, mm -hmm. and now they're living in their car. So as bad as sometimes it seems, it is. <laughs> for the most part, it isn't. It isn't. Be grateful. Be grateful, and I think volunteering yes. together. When we and when you see that kind of stuff, you're you're a lot more thankful when you get home to your house that has AC. <laughs> you're a lot more thankful, even if the dishes aren't done yet. You know what? And and the floor needs to be mopped. You're a lot more thankful. Yes. Um, 
and and this is a, a, when I said by the dating night, that's for dating. But be spontaneous. Surprise each other for little things. My husband did a surprise for me this weekend. And if you uh, go onto our YouTube channel, he taped everything to show. He, I went out to get my hair done and, you know, my Saturday errands and different things that I do. And um, I always come back and I think I've got, well, I've got to find some t for dinner for everybody. And he had made dinner. He had made some chicken and <laughs> it was delicious. And, uh, <laughs> and had prepared everything and then he had a little gift for me. I did. <laughs> I did. So we you gotta do little spontaneous surprise things, you know. Shake it up. Um that mm -mm -mm. that you're not really used to. That keeps that spark going. That keeps you from being bored in your marriage and looking outside for something else that's gonna interest you. We look at we always looking for something shiny. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Squirrel. Squirrel. And then all people, and then all people go into the abyss. And a lot of times, you know, and 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 what we found out is that watching people is that people who get distracted by 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 the shiny will continue to get distracted by the shiny. Um, doctor, was it Doctor Clark? You know, if you've been if you've been in three marriages. The only common denominator is you. <laughs> it ain't all of them. The only good common denominator in those three or four marriages is you. So that's the lack of introspection. That's the lack of looking at yourself and seeing who you are. And, and changing something and changing within about, you yeah. that will bring something better to the marriage. And we're, we're not saying that people that have been married three times are you know, failures or whatever like that. Things happen. You know, people die. Things, you know, people change for the better. And they may have a spouse that... Hasn't changed. Doesn't change for the better. And they're living a life that they don't agree with. So you may have to, you know, break up that marriage. And and I know people think, well, Christians don't get divorced. Christians but get divorced at the very same rate as everybody else. Sometimes more. Because... You know, if you if you're in a marriage and that person isn't living according to what your beliefs are, you know, you may have gotten together when you were both living kind in of, the world. Yeah, <laughs> kind what of. What they say? Y'all in a while. Woo. And, and 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 then that person wants to change. And really, we need. To, I would like to share one day our our battle because when we got married, I was the supposedly. She was a church. A Christian. She I was, was a church. She girl. was a church girl, and I, I, I was someone who did not grow up in the church. I, mm -hmm. I always say that I was a good guy, but I wasn't a God guy. I was a good guy. I was alright, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't hurt anybody on purpose, you know. I. And I think I saw the good in you. Uh, I, well, it was out there. Yes. It was shining on my. <laughs> but face. we were both when we got married. We really were not living a, a Christian life. No. And and you know things we just lived. You know you do you go out after work and party and do this and blah 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 and you just live life like most people do you don't know if you don't know that you don't know you don't know you don't know and, and sometimes you don't even know what you don't know <laughs> <laughs> and, you know and I mean, that's what a lot of people are you don't even yeah. know what you don't know so you just get up every day and and, and, you live. and you're just like oh oh one more day let's go let's go what are we gonna do? I don't know. We're gonna go and uh, work, and then we're gonna go have beer later, and then we're gonna hang out. I don't know. Mhm. Mm and, and you come home and crash. And then you get up next morning and do it again. Yes. And that's how a lot. And that's how a lot of people live. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I yeah we, yeah we can talk about that. As, 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 we need to share our at some point. our story story of you know our. So for all of the, for all of those people who think, are you guys pastors? First of all, stop saying that. <laughs> I, I know what pastors do. No. <laughs> no. I don't want to be responsible for somebody like me. <laughs> I just don't. Yes. I don't. So stop saying that. We're, uh, we're not pastors, but we're just com a common couple that has made it through 30 plus years. Nearly, nearly 30. In December, it'll be 31. 30 plus years, and we were actually together before that. Yes. So. 
Yes, yeah, so yeah, we didn't get. We weren't on a, one of those one of those shows. Um, thanks, Sheila, and hi, um, Leslie from North from Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> Y'all got any rice? Hi, <laughs> <Hi>, Angela. <laughs> But uh, no, no, no. I, I, we weren't on those shows like Ninety Days Fiance or anything like that. We didn't get we didn't no. meet and then get married like right away. Right away, that didn't happen because we worked together. We were just friends. So, just but friends. um, but the story of how you know when I think when I had Alex, my perspective on life changed so much until I realized that I needed to renew my relationship with Christ. I, I I think is and then and then your dad got sick and mm -hmm. then passed away and then mm -hmm. and we're not gonna get into that today but that's kind of the the, the whole timeline thing, yes so so things things change in relationships and uh, you know I think about if he hadn't have come over to 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 Christianity you know where would we be this would be tough this would be, this would, this this life would be very very hard. Um, because the word says that the, that the, um, the way of the transgressor is hard. Um, if I had not been able to make the shift, I, you know what? And it wasn't. And, I, and, I, and I'll, I'll tell you what. It wasn't a big. I, I, I wish I had this big, huge, you know what? Crying, snot-filled testimony, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. A lot of people do. A lot of people can talk for 25 minutes, and everybody's crying, and there's snot coming out their eyes. I don't. It, it was it was just one of those things that made sense you know that made sense to me because you were a good guy because I was a good guy to start with uh, so I you know what I wasn't one of those I wasn't so terrible that I had to have this huge transformation that that didn't happen that's my brother <laughs> <laughs> hello Gary if you're out there his wife Priscilla is, his wife is watching yes. <laughs> Priscilla, we're so happy to have you in the family. Awesome man of God. I can't even tell you, Priscilla, we're so happy to have you. Yes. We're so happy to have you. I'm so glad you showed up. <laughs> I'm so glad you showed up. I can't even tell you. Uh, but we <laughs> love you, Priscilla. Anyway. Uh, so what else you got on your list? Well, for now, that's it. I have three more points, but we're running slow on time. But the, the next one was um, spice up the sex life. So that's kind of... <laughs> Did you say sex? I said sex at 9.30 in the morning. Oh my gosh. What? And you're a Christian woman talking about sex at 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> when the sun is up. <laughs> trade day, trade day drink, drinking for day sex. <laughs> That's what Christians do. We trade day drinking for day sex. That's good. Alright, so um, are we done? I yeah, think we're done. Yeah, okay, because we're running out of time. We're running right? out of time, and and the and the camera's going to turn off in 29 minutes. So, all right, so we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. Listen, if you have questions, if you have, if you have comments, please comment in the in, in the section below. Please comment here on Facebook. Please um, go to our YouTube channel, y'all, and um, you can search it by searching for Deborah Lawson, or you can search it for my Real Talk with Devin Will, um, and um, subscribe. Uh, go out there and um, like it and share it with your friends, even if they're from Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. We appreciate that.